All right, I'm going to do uh, four and five in this same video. So sorry if you didn't need four. If you didn't need four, you can just skip ahead. Um, all right, so I'm saying, hey, create a scanner, ask the user in a phrase, and then if the phrase is equal to tiger, say go tigers. If it's not, say other. So scanner, scan equals new scanner system.in. That's what we always say. If phrase dot equals tiger print go tigers else other anything good to say for the other one? Well, let's see what I do wrong. I forgot to ask them for it. Uh, I asked him to enter the phrase. I asked him, but I didn't do it. String phrase equals scan dot next line. Okay. Enter phrase. Tiger. Go tigers. Enter phrase. Hamster. Okay. And once again, I forgot to fork it. So you're going to watch me delete my code and run it to make sure it's saved. Okay, let's see if I can do better on the next one. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do number five. I'm gonna fork it. Here we go. So we've got, uh, these last two were more like related to strings. Yeah, the whole point of number four was you gotta use dot equals when you're comparing strings, not equal equal. And the point of this is I want you to use substring. So um, imagine somebody enters a date like this. I'm asking you to grab the date out of the string. And the date would be everything before the first space. So it's really not a very hard thing to do right now. A nothing is getting sent back. And so all the tests fail. I'm testing a short month and a long month. Um, so. Uh, we're going to just, you can do it all on one line. Everything's sent over here. We're going to return str.substring. Um, str. Uh, let's see, we're going to go from zero to just before the space. And the space can be found by doing str.index of space. That's it. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. I'm failing. Let's see. Zero str index of. Well, let's print this out and see why it's not working. That's how you debug things in the real world. Go home. Hmm. Um, oh, I'm getting the comma. So I think what happened is maybe what I sent over. Yeah, look at this. There's a comma after September and there's a comma after April. So I just, I'll fix that before you guys get to it. But my my tests had bogus data in them because I said it was going to be the month and then a space. Yeah, so now I can get this pass out of here. Uh, I mean, that print out of there. And we'll get pass, pass, pass. So anyway, it was passing. Yours would pass. Mine failed because I found an error in my test data. All right. So we're just going, we're taking this expression, we're finding the first space. And say that's character 10. Uh, if we do substring 0, 10, then we're going to get characters 0 through 9. You know, and I just, I'm winging it with the 10. I, there's probably more letters in the word September, but you get what I'm talking about. All right. Thanks for playing.